All right. So I'm going to try to do this a little bit of a different way than maybe we would be used to, but um, I have an interesting case that I want to go over with everyone. And I just recently talked to a radiologist, Dr. Nagosian, and he went over um, some CT images, and I kind of want to explain them a little bit more because looking at them, even he was a little bit confused right away. So I want to kind of talk about them and tell you guys what he told me. Um, so this is my patient um, that I'm doing the project on for pathologies. Um, it was a three-year-old male and he came in. We took these images first and he they said it was a appendicolith. That's what they figured it is. So they weren't positive but they wanted to have an ultrasound done and then of course a CT as well. Um, so now I'll just kind of bring up the first image and then talk about it. So this is that appendicolith again. Um, and he said this is one of the biggest he's seen before. And Dr. Nigigosian is probably about 60, 65, maybe a, maybe a little younger, give or take a few years. So um, if he hasn't seen anything like it before, it's pretty interesting and I'm excited that I picked this case. So this is the appendicolith here, and this here, if you can see on the left, following my mouse, is the start of the appendix, okay? So if I bring up image two here, you can see now here is the start of the appendix as well. And this is where Dr. Nigagosian was kind of amazed because he said, I'll bring up another picture, that this is the largest, um, appendix he's ever seen. Here once again is the appendix going up all the way around if you're just following my mouse. And um, this is all fluid filled and if you notice, if you know your anatomy, um, the appendix is supposed to be going caudally but you can see that it's going cephalically up towards the liver and that's how, what he explained to me as well. So this just blows his mind here. Once again they have a measurement at the widest part here for the axial view and it's at 17.42 millimeters. Um, Dr. Nigagosian said that a typical um, appendix at age three should be about five millimeters at the largest. So if you just kind of think about that, that's crazy to put in perspective. I'm gonna go here one more and here it's just kinda showing the same thing. Um, just a little bit more. Still going up towards the liver if I would be able to load my CD on here. I'd have talked and kind of scrolled through and give you guys a better view, but I just definitely wanted to talk and kind of um, give you a little bit further idea on what this patient was going through. So he ended up having a gangren gangrenous um, appendix, and then it was um, um, is uh, ruptured at midpoint. So I believe this is where that rupture is, where my mouse is here on the right, um, but I'm not for sure. I guess we didn't really talk about that, but this it would make sense to me being there's a hole there and it wouldn't make any more sense or any sense. And maybe this is a little bit more of it right in that middle. Um, but once again, at that point, I'm just kind of guessing and looking at it with myself. So, um, yeah, that's just all I wanted to talk about and kind of show you guys a little bit further, give you a little understanding because looking at it, yeah, you'd have seen the appendicolith here, but, um, anything else I wouldn't have known. I would have thought this was bowel. That's amazing. I would have thought this is more bowel, especially when I bring up this image again, this is just, I wouldn't have known. And Dr. Nigagosi and even had to look at it himself and he was like oh my gosh like this is the appendix so um i'm just gonna upload this video to the powerpoint and then if anyone watches it that's cool all right